G'day everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I just want to say, I know it's been a minute since I've posted, but it will become a, a regular occurrence from now on in. I just want to start off by saying a huge congratulations to all the winners in the Gabs Hottest 100, the beer competition yesterday, yesterday at time of recording. Uh, really awesome day. I went down to First Choice Ashfield and I was there the whole day. They had like podcasts. There was a lot of things going on. It was super fun. A lot of vendors there. Got to do some great beer tastings. It was a good day. Now I thought I'd touch on, with that happening yesterday, I thought I'd touch on the top three beers. Uh, just go through the winners um, and do a bit of a tasting and uh, let you know what I think. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, the day was a lot of fun, counting down all those beers. Um, they were all voted for by the beer drinking public. So we, let's get into it. In number three, super popular one, I've had it before, I've tried it a few times, it's the Bent Spoke Brewings uh, Crankshaft. Uh, now this is a really, really nice IPA. This is 5.8%, so it's a decent hit. It's 1.7 standard drinks. Uh, this is from a brewery down in Canberra. Um, they do some amazing beers. Um, they had another one, another couple in the top 100. So let's give this a crack. Okay. Oh, it's always a great sound. I love the sound of that. Let's see. Just pouring it out here. Look at that nice clear color that's really really gorgeous um, decent head great smell oh yeah you can really smell that's so good let's give it a taste see what it's like oh that's good bitter on the palate to start off with good hit in the back of the throat really nice going down super delicious aftertaste it really does leave you wanting more, which I'm going to. Mm. Ooh, that is nice. Number three, great job to Ben Spoke Brewing. Um, they always do a killer job, and this is no exception. All right, on to the next one. So coming in at number two is a super popular beer. I know so many people that really enjoy this beer. I, uh, I drink it a fair bit. If it's ever on tap or on offer, I'm in on it. It is really, really nice. And it's the boys at Baltar and it's their XPA. Can you get in on that? Yeah, there you go. Can't go wrong with Balta. They've since jumping on the market. They've always produced some amazing beers that always taste so good, and they're perfect on a hot day. The XPA is no exception. Now it's five percent, so a little less than the Crankshaft. Um, it's one. Where is it? One point five standard drink. But let's crack this open and uh, have a taste. Ooh. Always a great sound, no matter how many times I do it. Um, now this is, as I'm saying, an XPA, so I'm um, expecting something a little bit more bitter. Oh, really nice sort of fruity flavor or smell coming off it. Let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, so this um, is, a, is a really lighter taste compared to the Crankshaft. Um, I could see someone sitting on these for quite a while. They're really nice. If you're not super into your bitter beers, then this is a great choice. Uh, it's a really, really nice one. Um, Bolta has produced uh, coming in number two in the Hottest 100, so obviously everybody out there feels the same way that this is a killer beer. Really nice XPA, perfect for a barbecue or uh, hanging out with mates or heading down to the beach or sitting at the pub, really nice on tap. I've had it a lot of times. Um, always tastes so good. Straight out of the can, still really, really, really nice. 
Congratulations boys from Bolta. And now coming in at number one in this year's Gab's Hottest 100 is absolutely no surprise. And the reason I say that is it took out the same title last year. That's right, two years in a row. The boys of Mountain Culture Brewing have, oh, where is it? There it is. They have taken out number one with their status quo pale ale. Now this thing is phenomenal flies off the shelf. This thing tastes so good. Uh, if you ever get a chance and you're in Sydney and you head up to the Blue Mountains, go check out the brewery. Great tour, awesome food, and the beers they've got are phenomenal. So it's 5.2%, it's so a little bit stronger than the Bolter, but it's still that 1.5 standard drinks. So yeah, let's crack it open. Oh, so good. Mm. that lighter in color obviously it's a pale not an XPA um, so yeah you get that lighter hazier sort of a color Ooh, can you see that that's so good so it's a really nice fruity smell to it none of that bitter smell you got with some of the other beers let's give it a taste Ooh, that's so good. You can see why they came in number one two years in a row. It's really, really nice beer. Really easy to drink. I mean, it just, I mean, ooh. Mm. That's so good. I, I can't recommend this one enough, and obviously you can't either, because we all voted in at number one. Now look, if you ever get a chance to head to the brewery, like I've said, go check it out. If not, head down somewhere to your local bottle shop and grab yourself a four pack and give it a whirl. I highly recommend it. Do yourself a favor and go grab some. Cannot recommend this one enough. It is delicious. So that was your top three for the Gabs. If anyone out there actually voted in Gabs, tell me what your number one was or your number two or your number three. Let me know if you voted for any of these. Um, so I just wanted a big shout out to uh, everybody um, who's watching or who has subscribed. And if you haven't already, make sure you do so because like I said, this has begun to become a regular occurrence. Um, and I would love some feedback from you guys as to how I can improve. Um, I've been drinking beer for quite some time, but critiquing it is something new to me and I'm still learning. So if there's any specifics that you want from each beer, I'm happy to add whatever I need to, so just let me know in the comments down below or send me a message. Um, uh, also, check out my Insta. That's always a good way to get in contact with me. Always happy to chat beers and other beverages. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Yeah.